Uh, hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at the benefits of mango leaves to turkey farming and chicken farming. Uh, the mango leaf actually has a good number of uh, herbal and medicinal benefits to your turkeys and chicken. I would like to call upon all poultry farmers to embrace uh, organic remedies, which we are sharing here on uh, the homestead to be able to treat diseases and keep the health of your birds uh, in check for, at your farm. Uh, this is going to ensure that actually, guys, your birds remain organic and they are able to give you organically grown food. This is going to be in form of the meat and it's also going to be in form of the eggs. So guys, if this is something that you hold dear to your heart, uh, actually being able to eat uh, high quality food, uh, this is something that you should embrace uh, doing on your homestead or at your farm. But also this is going to help you to be able to cut down on the cost of medication on your farm. There are actually very many farmers who have turned out their farms into more or less small vet shops. Uh, you find that all kind of drugs a farmer is actually buying and bringing to their farm, which ends up eating into their profit that they would be making uh, when they are selling their eggs, when they are selling their birds, because they are basically buying all the medications that are recommended by their friends, either fellow farmers or even these guys who have the vet shops, especially the guys who are having uh, the vet shops, they simply want to sell uh, their medication. So you can't really rely mostly on their advice to be able to actually make make any money on your farm. So what are these natural remedies that you can be using as alternatives to be able to save on the cost of the medication on your farm, but also to be able to improve the health of your birds? Actually, we are having a series of remedies that we are using on our farm that we are actually sharing with you guys and we would like to call upon you to embrace uh, these natural remedies because they will give you great results. And uh, the mango leaf is one of those uh, that you must be using on your homestead or on your farm that's if you're into uh, poultry farming if you're into turkey farming uh, if you are even into um, rabbits this is something that you must be using on your farm so let's look at the benefits uh, that we get a uh, good understanding of why the mango leaf should make it to the feeding program of your animals on your farm now the mango leaf guys has some antibacterial properties which makes it a perfect antibiotic alternative and yet guys it is very cheap if not free because I have actually not seen anyone selling uh, mango leaves but even if there is anyone selling these leaves trust me they are going to be very cheap uh, compared to the price that you will be paying for antibiotics. Uh, the mango leaf also guys has some antiviral and antioxidant uh, properties uh, which will promote the immune uh, system of your buds uh, to protect against these viral diseases. Uh, the mango leaf guys is also known to treat uh, respiratory disease like flu and cough and actually guys this is also the same in humans. Whenever someone has a cold get a concoction and cook mango leaves and uh, then they would take it and their cough would actually clear. So this has been proven to actually even work in humans and this will be able to work uh, for your birds. Uh, guys, please ensure that you include these uh, natural remedies into the routine feeding of your birds so that they are able to build immunity against most common turkey diseases. Now the problem is that guys, some farmers will wait until when their birds have actually fallen sick uh, so that they are able to actually run out to uh, these natural remedies. We will recommend that guys, uh, although these natural remedies are, are, are able to treat diseases, but it's good that you use them uh, before your birds get sick so that they can help your birds uh, to build immunity against these diseases. Uh, the mango leaf guys also works as a growth promoter. So this is going to promote uh, weight gain if you're into meat birds. Uh, especially people having broiler chicken if this is what you actually uh, concentrate on. If you're into turkeys for meat, uh, this is going to be something that you must include into your feeds uh, to be able to actually benefit from the growth uh, properties uh, of this uh, mango leaf. Uh, this is going to be able to ensure that your buds are growing at a faster rate and you are able to get a uh, good weight in the shortest time possible. Uh, the mango leaf also guys contain a, a bunch of vitamins ranging from vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, uh, which are actually very great uh, immune boosters guys. You know that vitamins will also promote uh, feed intake into your buds as they stimulate appetite into the buds. 
uh, to ensure that actually they are eating out well. If your birds are eating out well, then they will most likely grow out well and also they will be able to lay out uh, the eggs well. So your egg production is going to be better if your birds are actually uh, having some great uh, feed intake. Uh, the mango leaf, guys, is also high in crude fiber. You know that actually fiber is the king of the digestive system of most livestock animals. And uh, the turkeys and chicken are one of those. Fiber in uh, the mango leaf is going to be able to improve the digestive system of your birds, uh, which will lead to proper uh, feed intake, but as well it's going to lead to feed efficiency. Now, if you're having your birds eating out well and drinking out well, and the feeds are being processed out well, then what is going to come out is going to be uh, faster growth, uh, better egg production, and also overall health of your birds is going to be on point. So ensure that uh, you utilize uh, the mango leaf to be able to benefit from uh, this good supplement. So the common question, guys, is going to be, how then do you give this mango leaf to your birds? How do you include uh, this mango leaf into the feeding program of your birds? Now, you're going to have uh, two ways. Uh, one, you, so you're going to get um, fresh mango leaves, and then you're going to grind them into a powder after you have dried them into the shade. And then you can, this will make it easy for you to store them for future use. Uh, because once they're into a dry powder, then you can keep them in a tight container and then you should be able to use it in the future. Uh, you're going to be including 200 grams of the mango leaf powder into 50 kgs of your feeds. If you're mixing 100 kgs of uh, your turkey feed or chicken feed, uh, you're going to be including 400 grams into that feed. Now the second option is going to be guys are uh, mixing it into the water. You're going to be able to get a uh, fresh mango leaves and then you are able to uh, cut them and pour some water and boil them for at least one hour. Uh, then you're going to get uh, the extract uh, which you're going to be mixing into the drinking water of your buds. Uh, that way your buds will be able to benefit uh, from this supplement. We recommend that Every time you're going to be giving these supplements, especially in the water to your buds, you withdraw the water for some time so that your buds are actually thirsty in a way that when you bring the water, all the buds are interested into taking the water because they will be thirsty. That way the buds are going to ensure that uh, everyone is actually getting uh, a share of the supplement and no bud will be left out. Otherwise, if you kind of bring it when uh, the buds actually have uh, drunk a lot of water, then they will end up not uh, drinking the supplement, uh, which will not be working in your favor. So if you've watched the video this far, guys, please consider subscribing to the channel. Turn on the notification bell so that the next time we upload a video, you are notified to come and watch. Please ensure that uh, you like the video, share with a friend who is interested in turkey farming or poultry farming, and they would like to do it the organic way, which is uh, the best way that we hope that is there to be able to raise your buds in the best way. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.